how to record on Xbox One. I'm gonna be showing you four different ways that you can record from your Xbox One. I'm gonna start with method number one and work my way to number four. Four is my all time favorite, so stay tuned to the very end if you wanna know what that is. Method number one is locally recording with your Xbox One. This requires you to go to the broadcast tab and then you can start screen capturing. The benefits of this is that you only need your Xbox and possibly a computer if you wanna edit your videos. The downsides to this are plentiful. One reason being that you can only record in two to five minute chunks, meaning that you're gonna have to record, stop, record, stop, record, stop, if you wanna make like a full gameplay video. So I'd highly recommend against using this method because it's gonna be a real pain in the butt. Another downside is that you actually have to download an app to be able to upload your two minute chunks to OneDrive. If you're unfamiliar with what OneDrive is, it's basically just like a cloud storage and that's going to be where your videos are stored. So you're gonna have to upload it from your Xbox to your OneDrive and then go to your computer, open up your OneDrive account, and then you can find your video file. So then you can go and edit it on your computer, which is just a whole bunch of steps that, you, that are really confusing. You don't really wanna do it. You wanna make it as simple as possible. Keep it streamlined. Method number two is very similar to that. However, it allows you to record up to about an hour of gameplay, depending on what kind you get. And this is basically the same method, but you actually go out and grab a USB stick or a USB drive. It has to be 3.0 and formatted to NTFS, which is quite simple to do. However, you're still gonna run into that same issue where you're not going to be able to want to set up the video the way you want it to if you want to have like overlays or if you want to record yourself playing with it it's just a real pain in the butt but if you're dead set on trying that method i'll leave a link down below on a couple of different usb drives that'll fit the bill and you can try it that way all right so methods three and four actually involve using a program called streamlabs obs it's a hundred percent free if you're wanting to get into gameplay recording or possibly live streaming, I highly recommend you get this program 100% free. I have a video on it in the top right corner if you wanna learn how to use it. I make it very, very simple to understand and use and it's gonna save you so much time and effort, especially if you wanna turn this into something bigger than just a little side hobby. So pause this video, go watch that one if you don't know how to use it. If you do know how to use Streamlabs OVS, continue watching. All right, so method number three is not as good as number four, but it is still an option. So this method basically consists of you streaming your Xbox One to your computer via Bluetooth and let me let me explain this further I'll go ahead and show you what I mean so I've gone ahead and opened up my computer and what I did I turned on my Xbox and this is only going to work for Windows computers as far as I know but basically you're gonna want to go ahead and install an Xbox console companion app through the Windows Store on your computer and what this is going to allow us to do is play our Xbox through our computer and when we want to actually record, that's when we're going to bring in Streamlabs OBS. But let's go ahead and head over to where I can actually play my Xbox. So give me just a moment to navigate there. So you're going to have to go and click this tab. It says connection. As you can see, my Xbox is connected. Make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi. All right, so once it's connected, you'll actually see that it says stream. So I'm gonna click stream, and now it's going to connect my Xbox One and project it onto my computer. It's, it's yelling at me because I don't have any controllers, so let me go ahead and plug in a controller into my computer. I got my Xbox Pro controller, highly recommend this. It's so professional, it feels very heavy, so it's got that nice weight to it. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you wanna check one of these out. All right, so I've connected my controller, it's allowed me to go here. As you can see, my mouse is currently on the screen, meaning that this is being projected from my computer. But now you'll see if I move my Xbox controller, I actually have control over this. So now let's go ahead and boot up a game. I'm gonna go ahead and boot up Outlast real quick. So let me boot this up and let it load up. So give me a sec. All right, so I've gone ahead, booted up the game. As you can see, I am controlling it. And this is from my computer. So now you're wondering, how do I actually record this, Cody? That's a great question. Let me bring up a screen grab so you can see exactly what's going on behind the scenes. So this is what's going on behind the scenes. As you can see that this is Streamlabs OBS. It's picking up my mic. It's picking up my game volume right there. And you can see that it's recording. So now that we have this, let me just show you how to quickly set this up if you're unfamiliar with it. Once again, watch my video on how to use Streamlabs OBS. I'll just give you a very, very quick guide on how to use this. So let's go ahead and open a new scene. 
All right, so we're going to have a blank slate open right now. What we want to do is go ahead and add a new source by clicking this little plus button down in the sources. And then now we actually have a couple options. You can use display capture, uh, which will capture everything that happens on your computer screen. Sometimes it works for people, sometimes it doesn't. I've heard mixed bag. Uh, otherwise, you would want to use a game capture. Most people use game capture because it simply works the best, in my opinion. And if both of these are not working for you, go ahead and use window capture. You have a bunch of options. but. For the purpose of this, I'm going to use Game Capture just because most people use it and it seems to work best for me. So go ahead, click Game Capture, click Add Source. I'm going to add a new source instead. Let's go ahead and call this Xbox Capture Recording or something, whatever you want. Add the source. That's going to automatically look for one. If it doesn't find it, which I'm not banking that it's going to, uh, let's just go ahead and click Capture Specific Window. And then we're going to find the window we want to capture. We're streaming from the Xbox app.exe, so we're gonna click this one right here, and lo and behold, there's our game. So now we hit done, and then now all you would have to do if you wanted to record your gameplay is just hit this little record button down here. Go to the cogwheel in the settings, and then you can go ahead and see video, and then that's gonna be the resolution that you're gonna be exporting at. Also, if you wanna go ahead and just click output and then recording, you can also mess with some settings here, like what you wanna output it as, like mine is output it as MP4, and you can mess around with a couple other settings here. Once you've done that, as long as you just hit record, your recordings will go through and you'll be recording your Xbox through your computer, through the Xbox app on your computer. Once again, I don't know if this works for Apple, but I do know it works for Windows 10 and up. So the big reason why I don't like using this third method is because there's a lot of latency involved. So like you'll do an action on your controller and it won't like automatically happen in game. There's going to be a small delay and sometimes there might be some lag or choppiness. So it's not the greatest method, which is why I think method number four is the best. All right, so for method number four, my personal all time favorite is, drum roll please, streaming using a capture card. Yes, the HD 60S or the S Plus, whatever you can get your hands on. This is going to be the best way to stream Xbox One. And now I know a lot of you people are gonna be like, oh my God, Cody, this costs so much. Oh my God, I can't afford this. Well, let me tell you, if you want to start streaming or recording your gameplay and take it to the next level, and you actually wanna make something out of it, consider this your very first investment in your job, career, whatever you wanna take this to. It is 100% worth you taking your time, saving up the extra money and putting it towards something that you can use to possibly build a future for yourself. Another reason being, is that if you save up the money for it and you buy it, you're gonna value it that much more. And the fact that you have money invested into it is gonna mean that you're not gonna quit as soon as something goes wrong. You're gonna learn from it, you're gonna fix it, you're gonna test, fail, learn, grow, and repeat. And that, my friends, is the secret to success. By the way, link for this capture card down in the description below. All right, so let me show you how to use this capture card. I'm gonna use footage of when I was setting up the Nintendo Switch for the Elgato, same exact process. The only thing different is that you're going to take the HDMI cable and plug it into your Xbox instead of what I did and I plugged it into the Switch. You don't even see it because it's off camera. But let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so please excuse this guerrilla style videography I have. I'm using my phone and it's not the best. But basically, once you have your HD60S, there's gonna be a couple plugs. The left side is where you're gonna plug in your Nintendo Switch. And then right next to that is like a smaller plug, which is the micro USB, and that's gonna plug into the computer. The other side says out. So if you wanna have the output of that, so basically your Nintendo Switch is going in and the out is gonna go to your computer. So that plug that I'm looking at right now next to the out, that's our output. So that's an HDMI, and you're gonna wanna take that HDMI cable Find your computer and plug it in the HDMI slot. If you have a Mac, you're gonna need an adapter. The other side, see that little plug? That's gonna be a USB, so you're gonna plug that into the USB side of your computer. And then that last one right there, the opposite of the outside, you're gonna plug that bad boy into your Nintendo Switch. All right, so now that we have the capture card plugged in, when you got your capture card, you should have gotten some software. If you didn't, just Google Elgato Game Capture HD software, and it should give you something like this. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our Game Capture HD, which is this piece of software right here. You can see that it recognizes our device. Game Capture HD 60S is the model I'm using. You can use the plus if you'd like. Right now, it's capturing our Switch. So all I have to do, grab my Switch controllers and you can see that we're moving around. 
and now let's just say continue. You can see that it's picking it up, so that's all good and great. So that's half the battle. So now that we have our game captured, and by the way, if you want to mess with some settings, click this little cog wheel right here, and then you're going to have a bunch of different settings. So if you're having trouble getting the picture going up, uh, you can mess with all this stuff here. Here are my settings if that helps for your audio input. You can change it to like 1080p. You can make it high definition. You can change the quality. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of other stuff. Mainly this comes down to when you're using like retro games, but if you're having any trouble, mess around with these settings. And, and tweak it until you get what you like you can also mess around with the picture the audio you can make different profiles so like if you have like your retro stuff plugged and you want a different profile you can go ahead and switch in through there once we have this set up you're going to want to make it full screen so you just right click this little area here enter full screen and then you still have these annoying stuff on the side just right click it again hide sidebar so now that we have this let's head over into our streaming software by the way if you don't know how to stream already and you don't know how to use streamlabs obs or regular obs then go ahead and watch my video i'll leave a card up in the top right corner which basically shows you how to start streaming from nothing and what software you're going to need and this is going to make a lot more sense to you so if you don't already know how to stream using obs or streamlabs obs go ahead watch that video pause this one and come back when you're done okay now that we have streamlabs obs all set up and plugged in i'm going to have this on a nice blank slate for you so this is a brand new scene so in order to capture our game on our nintendo switch and our capture card let's go ahead and add a new source and then we're going to go ahead and do a window capture i believe you could use a game capture as well but i'm going to do window capture for this so go ahead open up a window capture add the source we're going to add a new source where let's call it elgato game capture because this is going to work for anything that's plugged into our elgato so we're going to add the source and then now uh, we're gonna change our window and change it to Game Capture HD right here, this little bad boy. And right now we're gonna hit done. And right now, there you go. That's our that's our game. If you wanted to just stream like that, then you could just hit go ahead and go live, and then you know start streaming, you know all that stuff. Make sure you got your game audio. Uh, every time I move, you can see the little uh, action happening by the speaker right there. So we're getting our game audio. If you're not getting game audio, go ahead, go to settings, go to audio. And then you can go ahead and change whatever your desktop audio device is until you get the game audio uh, capture source. Now let's go ahead and set up our webcam. Uh, so let's just go hit plus uh, video capture device. If you got a webcam, add source. And then here's my webcam right here. And then we'll add the source and then we can make it smaller. And then we can go ahead and put it in the corner. We can start up our game and we'll just start it up. As you can see, our game audio is going through right there. And now I'll just wait for it to load up real quick. All right, so our game is all nice and loaded up. Everything you've seen in this video, links are all in the description if you want to get some gear. I also have a course available in terms of live streaming on Twitch. If you want to learn how to stream or grow your channel, check it out. Link in the description down below. See if it'd be a good fit for you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.